Yes, absolutely. You know, I think we've been blessed that, uh, as we've talked before, we're able to play, you know, nine or ten guys uh, pretty evenly throughout the game. And I think that's really been good for all aspects of that. And I think the, the further we go, there's more continuity, more continuity to what we're doing up front, understanding things better and, and uh, you know, really, really diving in and, and understanding the plan. And so I thought the guys did a good job of that last week. And, and obviously it paid dividends for us. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's extremely solid, but, uh, you know, I think we always say in the coaching world, well, let's go ahead and be balanced. But at the end of the day, you ha kind of have to do what the game lends itself to happen. And, and so, you know, we, we've been able to be balanced, uh, you know, because we're having success in the run game and, and we have some guys making the plays on the edges. But at the end of the day, it's really each game is different among itself. And I, I don't know that we really get caught up into that. We always say we want to be balanced, but it, it's really, really predicted and, and uh, set by all the games. No, I, I think it definitely lends back to how you run the football, but it, it's kind of just in our play action scheme of things. And, uh, you know, it, it's there. And so, but obviously for that to be successful, you have to have the receivers blocking on the edges and you got to have the guys doing the things up front. Yeah, I think, I think Ken has those abilities, you know, obviously he's very explosive as we know. And so, and I think his ball skills are, are very solid. So I never shy away from that. Um, that's certainly always in the mix, you know, how many times or different ways can you get guys the ball? And so that's in the mix. We haven't done it as much right now. We've been really focusing with the run game, but certainly a, a possibility as we move forward. Right. I know that's a, that's a good question. I mean, because you'd really like to have better time of possession and still score. And so, you know, we, we, we've been fortunate to have some big plays, you know, which, which, which is outstanding. But, you know, I mean, that's as, as Mel talks about all the time, it's about complementary football. And I think we've got, to, we, we've got to even improve in that area of time of possession because it just helps out the special teams. It helps out the defense. And so, you know, I, again, you got to do what you need to do in the series to, to make things right. But that's definitely on our minds. And we, we, we're trying to improve that area. Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, big plays are, are, are certainly, uh, you know, the momentum swings all the time during games. And those are certainly one of those situations. Right. I, I think it, it, to a certain extent, I, maybe so. But, you know, I've always felt uh, very, very good about our talent level at certain spots. And so I think it's, it's just the combination of everything. You know, it starts with the quarterback. You know, he's, he's got to be the one to get you right and get you in a, in a good situation. And, and to date, Peyton's been doing a nice job of that. And he's got to put the ball where it needs to be. And then, we, then, then with that, it, it comes with the old line. You know, either if it's a, the big run or the, or the pass play, they got to do their part. So it's really a, a collective situation right now. I've always felt good about our skilled players and their explosiveness. But it's the other guys that are doing their parts that's helping that, that come along. Yeah, I, I, think, I think we're seeing weekly improvement, which is good. Um, and, and that needs to continue. You know, he and I talk uh, each week and, and really look at the things where he needs to go. And so I see improvements. You know, I, I see different things that he's doing in the game that, that is much different than it was in fall camp. So that's really positive. But we still feel there's room to go in certain things. And, you know, he has a lot to do. The quarterback position, you know, obviously is, is very encompassing. But I, I think there's improvements. But we're still challenged each day to, to continue to go. and. And, and his mindset's been very positive in that, even though we have had some of the big plays, but he's been very, very focused in and, and working on some of those details that he needs to improve. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's very good. Uh, comparison, I don't know, you know, but I know this, that it's emphasized every day with Coach Hawkins, you know, what we do and with Coach Tucker and all that. And, and those guys know and they can see the dividend that it's making. You know, you look at the one long run and, and what Jaden Reed did come from the backside and Tyler Hunt was unbelievable. You know, and so those things are happening. They see the production, they see the reward. And so it's just, it's just a part of what we do. And we, we try to stress that from day one because, you know, sometimes you lose sight of those guys, you know, you think of the pass game, but they're so, so, so critical in the run game. And they've really done a great job. And, and I think as we've gone, their physicality has even improved. And, and so that's been very, very positive and, 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 a, and a good moment for us. Uh, he, he's been, been phenomenal, you know. Uh, you know, Courtney being a Spartan dog and, and playing here. And then you look, I mean, she was it nine years, I think, in the, in the league. And so I, I think with that whole, that whole mix of things is really, really good because he, he really has a good way with those guys, uh, you know, and getting them to, to do the different things that he's trying to do. And you can see the daily improvement, even in the younger guys that you might not see as much on Saturdays, but we're trying to bring them along. But I just think he has such a good mix of his you know, playing experiences that those guys can really relate to, and he does a tremendous job with them. So he's been awesome. Right. And, you know, I, I think he's just been very solid. 
you know, I think he's been very solid. You mentioned the run blocking earlier. Trey's improved in his run blocking. You know, last game might have been one of his better games from a run blocking perspective. Still has some work to go, but I, I think he's improved. I think he's that. And then, and then he's had some really good production. When plays have come his way, he's made the play. And so I think that's really solidified him in that spot. You know, I, I, think it's, um, I think there's a couple of certain areas. I think the first and foremost is just kind of the management piece of the game. And, and a lot of that, when you play the quarterback spot, just comes with time. And obviously now, now he's had more time you know, in that situation. So that, I think, is improving. And then I think his, his, his work and his footwork and his drops and in the pocket is, is improving. And, and that's, we needed to take a really a big step from that from last year. And I think that's, that's all coming together. And his overall knowledge helps him to be better in those areas. Right, I, I have no problem with it. You know, Peyton does have some good athletic ability. And, you know, if, if the, if the uh, situation calls for it, we, we have no problem running him. So, you know, I think it's more just situational, what's, what's happening in the game, where we're at. Obviously, it always hinges upon what the defense is trying to do to you. But certainly have no issue with him running. He, he can run well. He has good speed. And so it's always definitely a part of the plan in some places. Um, you know, I think it's um, – I think there's more of a comfort level because I feel us as a, an entire program and an entire team is, is just so much further along, you know, of understanding what we're trying to get done of, of everything, you know, you know, the quarterback room, we really try to try to take that to a new level. And I think that with guys understanding and knowing and the ability to move guys around and they now can understand how it all fits together better. Uh, I think allows you, you know, to, to, to do more things. And so I think that's probably the biggest thing for me is I feel like our just our team knowledge and understanding has really gone to new levels and allows us to do more things. Not, not yeah, not really. I, you know, we try not to think about it. I mean, that, that's good and that's well-deserved. Um, but, but at the end of the day, you know, you, you have whatever the situation calls for, that's what we're going to try to do. And so, but obviously we're not afraid to put it in his hands. So, you know, but we don't really, I don't look at it in that way. And, and I don't think Ken does either. It's just uh, what we need to do at that particular situation, that's what we'll have to do. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, at first started, it was unbelievably well blocked up front. You know, that's where it started. And then, then I think you see the, uh, obviously he did a nice job of making a guy or, or a safety miss there in the back end. And then the, the tremendous efforts is what I saw from, uh, from the other guys now in the field with, with Tyler Hunt and Jaden Reed was, was phenomenal. And that's what really sprung it. Obviously we had great, great initial point of contact with the line and those things and, and the initial blocking, but, and obviously Ken, you know, special and, and made some people miss, but it was really a collective effort. Yeah, you know, we um, obviously been working on that. Harold has come along. Again, now that he's been here a little bit longer and doing a nice job. So again, it's, you know, it's really Jordan and Harold in that, in that arena right now. And we're trying to bring both those guys along and then see what's next.